Hey guys, it's Justin, and I'm getting ready to do some work on my Ram 2500. Uh, I don't usually video these, but this is something I haven't really seen folks do before. I'm going to switch from some Thurin coil springs in the rear to Carly springs. So uh, first I'll do a walk around and show you why I'm making this change, and then we'll see how it works out. So right now the truck is on a full Thurin setup. It has the two and three quarter inch lift in the front and the one inch lift springs in the back. However, as you can see there, the rear end is sitting quite a bit lower than the front. That's for a couple of reasons. When I initially did the installation, the um, truck sat about half inch lower in the rear instead of getting the one inch lift that's advertised on these springs. And that was with everything empty. And then I added some things like the diamond back tonneau cover and the rear tire carrier and a toolbox inside and everything's just gotten even lower since then. So now it's sitting about two inches lower in the rear than in the front. And so that's what I'm looking to correct. So I talked to, to Thurin as well as CJC Off-Road where I got the suspension system. And uh, Thurin didn't really have a solution for this, but uh, Carly has a two inch lift coil. So that's the middle coil here. You can see the part number on it. It's next to the stock coil for comparison. You can see they're both a dual rate coil. The reason I originally went with the Thurin system is because of the shock options. So I've got the three inch King shocks in the front with the stage two valving, and then the two and a half inch piggyback shocks in the rear, also with stage two valving. So most of my driving is on road and I really wanted a, a good comfortable ride. And I wasn't too concerned about the um, you know, really hardcore off-road performance. And so according to CJC, this was a bit softer than the Carly shocks would have been set up. So that's why I went with Thurn, as well as it, it coming out to about a thousand dollars cheaper and also having the option to put the three inch shocks up front without getting weld on brackets for making the change to three inch shocks. You can see everything's pretty muddy. We did some camping and uh, haven't had a chance to wash it off since then. I've also got the CJC little skid plates for the piggybacks in there. Just thought I'd show what's in the truck bed, making it sit as low as it is right now. So as I mentioned, this is the Diamondback HD tunnel cover. I think it's great. I've had some pretty heavy loads strapped up here and it handles it like a champ. So um, I've got a stack of chairs. That's not much weight. Most of it's up there. I've got the winch on a uh, receiver mount and some recovery gear. And then you can see the, the Diamondback toolbox across there as well. Get it unlatched. There's a safety latch in here so it doesn't fly up when you're on the road. There we go. All right, so various emergency and recovery gear. I would say altogether, I've got about 500 pounds in the bed, including the tonneau cover, the tools that I've got, and this uh, rear hitch mounted tire carrier. And so that's caused the suspension to sag about two inches in the back. These Thurin rear coils are just really soft. You know, that's great for the ride quality, but it's not great for the, the load capacity. And I think with the amount that I'm carrying in this, I really uh, need a stiffer coil than that. But of course I was hoping not to go back to the, the stock coil because that doesn't move at all. It just gives a, a really harsh ride. So we're gonna try these, these Carly coils and see where that sits. Um, I will also put in the description, the numbers that I had for my ride heights from the fenders to the axle centers, both stock and with the Thurin system with the bed empty and then with the Thurin system with weight in it. And then once we get these Carly coils on, I'll put the measurements uh, with those and see where we end up. Just jacked up the rear and here you can see where it's into the bump stop all the time, even on the highway. It doesn't take much to cause it to bottom out with this setup. So I figure if I can get the ride height a little bit higher then these two and a half inch shocks will have more room to work and keep it from bottoming out. I just got it up on the jack stands and you can see here, there's plenty of suspension travel on this. No shortage of travel. 
So I just need to get it sitting up higher for its uh, ride height with the amount of weight that I've normally got in it. Maybe you can even see better on this side without the funny shadows. All right, sorry about the, the sunlight there causing a shadow, but I've got all three springs lined up now. It's the Thurn in the middle, Carly on the right, and Stock on the left. And so you can see that the Thurn and Carly are the same height, even though it's a Thurn plus one and a Carly plus two. So that Carly spring must be a lot higher spring rate, stiffer spring. The wire thickness looks comparable to the stock one to me, although that's not the only factor in the spring rate. But the, it seems like the Thurn one is just too soft for my application. So I'll get the new ones installed and see where it sits. Okay guys, so the new Carly coils are in there. Really happy they were the same length as the Thurin coils. So I don't have to figure out how to disconnect the brake lines or something to get this to droop out enough. They went in pretty easily. And my neighbor helped me with the jack so I could hold the top end in place while he lifted the axle up. So that helps a lot if you have a second person to uh, help get them back in place. So this is at full droop again, with the shocks bolted back up. Of course that hasn't changed because they're the same shocks. I will say that the, um, the Carly coils are a lot heavier than the Thurn coil. So definitely a lot more metal in there to lift up into place and uh, We'll see how that works out in terms of supporting the load. Okay guys, I was looking around at the rest of my uh, Thurn suspension install and noticed uh, an issue that I'm going to address while I'm working on it. So if you see the tab behind the shock shaft there, that just keeps the nut from spinning when you install the lower shock bolt. And this is installed here in the factory orientation with the tab sticking up. And you can see there's some damage on the corner of the tab. And that's because it's been hitting the bottom of my King shock. You can see a little damage there on the edge of the lower end of the shock. And so clearly that's not ideal. Um, there's no sign that the bump stops are hitting. So this has been acting as the bump stop, I guess. Definitely not a good situation. So I'm gonna flip that around, you know, pull the nut off and put it in with the tab sticking down. And there's plenty of other lower stuff on this front axle. so. I don't really see any issue with the tab sticking down instead of up. And so that's what we're going to do. And it's the same situation on the other side. You know, I probably should have noticed this when I was installing it, that that could be an issue, but I didn't. And I don't remember the instructions saying anything about it. So uh, just something to keep in mind. If you put these on your truck, flip the tabs around so they stick down and don't hit your nice king shocks. All right, so here we are with the tab flipped downward. See it there. Fortunately, these were just contacting the outer edge of the lower anodized aluminum shock cap. So there's no sign that I damaged the seal or anything functional. And I'm just kind of annoyed with myself that I didn't catch this during the initial install and, and let it dig into that blue aluminum a bit. But fortunately, not a place that anyone's likely to see it. All right, we're back on the ground. And as you can see, that's sitting quite a bit higher than it was before. And I'll add in some still shots of the measurements that I just took, but overall it gained close to three inches compared to where it was sitting with the Thurn Springs. Now remember that's comparing a plus one to a plus two, but it seems like the Thurn Springs sat about an inch lower than advertised to begin with. And then with the added weight in them, they kept compressing further than I would have liked. Just the, the spring weight rate was lower than these. So of course these could settle some more, so I'm not going to claim that this is the, the final uh, difference. I had the Thurn Springs on there for a while, um, but it is sitting about how I wanted it to, right? So the back has it's about an inch higher than the front, got about that one inch rake, and that's what I was going for. And that's where it's sitting with the weight that I usually carry in the back. So about 500 pounds, including the tonneau cover, tire carrier, and um, the tools in the bed. So pretty happy with how this came out and um, definitely interested to see how it handles towing, but given the up travel that's now available, I expect it'll do just fine with the weight of towing or a full load as well. All right, gonna wrap things up. It's all installed. 
I uh, just wanted to say that even though I didn't end up using the Theron coils, I still think they're a great product. If you usually have an empty bed, the ride quality of those over the stock coils was a massive improvement. And also the guys at Theron were super helpful in helping me figure out the right shock valving when I was first getting the system, answered lots of emails. And then when I was trying to, to change the level of the, the rear here, they took measurements of the trucks in their shop and sent them to me and just all around were really helpful. Likewise with the folks at CJC Off-Road, they also answered a bunch of questions for me and told me about these Carly Plus 2 springs because this is not a product that Carly advertises, but it was something that CJC had and it ended up being exactly what I needed. So they got that out to me and uh, I bought all the suspension parts from them originally as well as my rear tire carrier and, and some other parts along the way. So I uh, just wanted to wrap up with that. Thanks for watching.